is done, I want to make a motion about status reports. So. I think that's out of order. We are not, okay. we have not yet voted on the motion, so yeah. Okay. Can we vote? Let's get can that vote, done, can and vote, then can we, we, can, vote? we can move to a second motion. Yes, definitely. Uh, so are we uh, satisfied with the discussion that has happened? Well, we have a couple more people. Although I'm not a board member, I've been showing up to these meetings for a long time, just rather good points again. If I may provide this observation humbly, um, it seems like by how the compensation has been figured, you know, the co-op is doing a lot of the work, but I've heard some figure of $150,000 going to the COCO, and the co-op really hasn't received anything. And then also it was, it was indicated that the chain of communication is from co-op to COCO to DOJ back to Portland Police, you know, City of Portland. So I'm just going to suggest maybe the COCO was kept in the loop but didn't communicate to the COAB, and that's why COAB in the community doesn't feel part of it. It's just a suggestion of maybe a loose thread that could be rethought. Re yeah, Dan. Before you vote on the motion, I would now I'd like to frame the amendment that the letter should also go to uh, Mayor Elect Wheeler, who does go into office on January 1st. So uh, I think that would be a good thing if we wanted to add that as an amendment. I don't know. It was Tom's letter. Charles? Charles? We're yeah. We're Tom, do you accept that as a friendly amendment? Okay. I would, I would actually suggest three friendly amendments. Uh, <laughs> based upon what people have said. Uh, that we send the letter uh, as as is. We Tom the mic. Tom the mic. Tom. You have to turn it towards your mouth. Yeah, yeah. Pointing at your mouth. It's a condensed thing. Condensed mouth. We we uh, send the letter as is. We uh, ask and invite the mayor and the chief and the mayor elect and those other people in the settlement agreement who are supposed to be meeting with us to our next meeting and that we also ask for written uh, updates and timelines as to what review is being given to our recommendations. And thirdly, we ask that we be included at the table in the discussions related to policy changes and so forth and that are, are involved with our recommendations. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, I, oh, I've got that. Boy. Tom, I just want to make sure. Did, did you have a status report in there too, or in all of those amendments? I got dizzy with your amendments. Tom. Uh, other than they just should keep us updated as to the timeline for what is involved in, in putting these recommendations together, which ones are looking at, what they anticipate that they'll be looked at. They need to be okay. Done. Does that seem reasonable? Absolutely. Okay. I'm happy, I believe I suggested that months ago. So I wouldn't wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> um, can I second that motion? <laughs> yeah. Great. Unless so the amendments have been agreed, agreed upon, which means that we'll go back to the main proposal that's on the floor. All in favor of the motion. Aye. 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 Oh, oh, it's all. I got it. Okay. We got it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, back to me. Did you have another motion? Well, first, Charles Bridge Gate Bridge, Bridge Stone Bridge Crane. 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 You got it. Good evening, Charles Bridge Crane. Okay, Johnson. And I think Thank you. that. Um, even though we'll send the letter as is, 